Hey there, my name is Bree from 1134 Press and today I'm sharing three ideas that you can use to make a happy meal for a friend. Um, so today I'm going to uh, talk about my journal. Um, I've recently gotten into junk journaling. So this is my friend Sky, who made a video on her channel inspired by one of mine. I was so honored that I wanted to show my thanks by sending her a parcel of journaling goodies. Maybe these three projects will inspire you to share the love and send off a package of paper goodies to a scrappy friend. So first, we're going to make a bundle of eclectic papers for collaging. This little piece of paper represents the size of the mixed papers that we're going to bind into an envelope. We're going to cut our envelope from a 12 by 12 piece of craft paper, which is the standard size for most scrapbook paper that you get from a pack. We're starting by lining up our paper template in the center and about 1 8 of an inch from the edge. Use a piece of washi to hold down the template, then line your ruler with the bottom to make a score mark with an awl or the dull side of your scissors. You're also going to score the top, the center of the template, and the right side. Once you remove the paper template, complete the center score line. The next score marks are for the short flaps of your envelope. Find the center between the two vertical score marks and line your ruler from the intersecting point to the center. It's hard to see the marks in this light, but I'll show you what the final results should look like with little drawn lines in a bit. You'll also follow those steps for the big flap on the right side. Your score marks should look like this when you're done. You'll cut along the blue lines and fold on the purple. We're making another score mark 1 8 of an inch to the left of the center fold. And then fold all of your flaps down into an envelope. You don't need to use these exact measurements to make this paper bundle. And honestly, the first time I made this, I didn't use any measurements at all. But I wanted to be specific for my right-brained people. The next step is to sew in your pages using the pamphlet stitch method which has seemed to be my go-to stitch for the last few book projects. I promise I'll show you all more stitching methods. It just seems like this easy stitch has been working for me a lot lately. We could stop here with this paper bundle, but why would we? Decorating is kind of our thing. So I'm going to collage on the cover of our envelope using a variety of materials. I'll make sure to link the materials that I use in the description below. And I should say that I first saw this envelope style journal on Lilo Studio on Instagram. Danny is an incredible book artist from Brazil, and if you don't already follow her, you should. I'll put her Instagram handle in the description below as well.
I also wanted to ship off some dried flowers. To secure them, I layered them on a plastic sheet, added washi to their stems, then added another layer of plastic and sealed it with more washi. I attached a little note to the card to let Skye know to peel off the washi so she can use the flowers in her own journals. The last piece of our happy mail is a tri-fold for stickers and washi. Fold your paper in thirds and trim to the size you want. Next, we'll cut slits into a rectangle piece of paper to create pockets for the stickers. I have a die cut by Sizzix that cuts a pocket just like this, but I wanted to show you how you can create your own from scratch. I hope those three mini projects inspired you to experiment with packaging ephemera for your pen pals, but I also think you could use some of these ideas in your own junk journaling projects. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more bookmaking, journaling, and papercraft inspiration. We upload videos every Sunday and Wednesday. If you're looking for more Happy Mail inspiration, I have another tutorial that I'll link in the iCards and description. Thank you for watching. Bye.